Hey, hey, hey. Welcome everybody to Miss Glow's Kitchen where the sugar, spice, and everything nice where we slice, dice, and entice using everything we can from peppers to allspice. What's up my people? Y'all know what time it is? See y'all in the kitchen. Easy Nutella frosting is on our menu today. No mixer required, everybody check this out. Simple ingredients, we need Nutella, butter, powdered sugar, milk, vanilla flavoring, all right? Vanilla flavoring, not extract. Extract is not necessary, but if you wanna use it, you can. All right, so you wanna make sure that butter and that milk, they're at room temperature, all right? Y'all know what I always say? Ain't nothing to it but to do it. So, let's get to it. Right, so we're gonna start off with three cups of powdered sugar and one stick of butter. Make sure that butter is softened. It is room temperature. All right, it's gonna be easier to work with cold butter. You won't be able to do anything with it. Trust me. All right, so we're gonna get this all mixed up. So we're gonna smash that butter into that sugar until we get a consistency like that. All right, and so we're gonna start off with the milk. Now do the milk. A little bit at a time, don't just pour it all in. At least I don't. It may work for you if you do. So I'm not gonna say that it's absolutely not gonna work if you do that. All right, so I wanna get the milk in there. We're gonna get this stirred. It's gonna be a little slightly stiff at first, but you wanna make sure that this is thick. If it is soupy, it's not going to work. So just make sure you have a rather thickened consistency. All right, so once we get it to that point, we're going to put a little bit of the vanilla flavoring in there. So just a little bit of splash. I'm not going to give you an exact measurement for that. Splash some in there. You're good to go. Don't put too much. Again, I'm telling you, you cannot use this if it's soupy. It's not going to work for you. All right, so at this point, we're going to put our Nutella in. We're going to put the star ingredient in. We're going to get this mixed up really well. And when we do... We're almost done. I told you, this is really easy. Now, if you're gonna do a lot of cupcakes, like this will probably do maybe a dozen cupcakes, and that's if you don't put a lot. But if you're gonna pipe it onto some cupcakes, oh no, you gotta at least double or triple this recipe. So if you're gonna do a cake, a big cake, and you're gonna do that, um, the crumb layer first, and then you're gonna do the layer of frosting on there, and then you're gonna pipe some around for decoration, ah, oh, make sure you do triple or even quadruple this recipe because otherwise you know you're not going to have enough all right so we're going to do 36 48 cupcakes again same thing all right so that nutella look at how i'm stirring it look at how i'm holding the spatula all right because you want it that thick especially if you're going to pipe it so you already know if you're going to do that that it's you just can't have it just runny if you know what i'm saying all right so get this stirred up really nicely and when you do you're gonna be done so just like that quick quick and easy nutella frosting and it's so good you gotta try it like you really really have to try it so I did put it on a layer cake and pipe it on the top, but of course, obviously, this is a re-release. We're going back into the fall season. This is when I start baking again. And I know a lot of other people probably do too, so I decided, hey, what the heck, re-release, but I'll be coming up with new baking recipes really soon. That's what it looks like. Thanks for watching, everybody. See y'all next time. For more great recipes, tips, and ideas, check out some of my other videos.